Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to my review for Dumb and Dumber 2. This is the official sequel to the original film, Dumb and Dumber, and I really enjoyed the original. I don't think it's a classic by any means, but I watched it a ton when I was a kid. I still think it's actually a pretty fun film. Great performers, of course, Jeff Daniels and Jim Carrey, both are great in that. Really, really classic roles for them too. And I absolutely hated the prequel that came out like 10 years ago, Dumb and Dumber-er. When Harry met Lloyd, that was that was bad. I was bad. Yeah, bad. I didn't like it. So I was still very much looking forward to this, especially since it's Jim Carrey, Jeff Daniels, and the Ferrelli brothers. They're back. The trailers I were a little iffy on. A lot of in jokes. Well, not in jokes, but a lot of references to the original film in the trailer. I, I I thought it was relying too much on. Hey, remember the first film? I didn't know if it was gonna actually be funny. Uh, the reviews came out. I heard it's awful. So I waited a little while until I saw it because I was not excited anymore. What did I think of Dumb and Dumber 2? Well, let's talk about it. Alright, so story for Dumb and Dumber 2 is pretty damn stupid, which I guess fits very well with the title and the characters that we follow. The story here follows Harry and Lloyd, once again played by Jeff Daniels and Jim Carrey, respectively. And these two are the stupidest sons of bitches you will ever meet. They're so dumb. Uh, Lloyd a little bit dumber, but, you know, they're both really annoying, very dumb. But admittedly, even though they're annoying and dumb, they're fun to be with. Not, not in the movie. People usually don't like being with them. But it's fun to watch them do some of the dumb stuff that they do. Now, I'm not going to say the movie is really funny or anything. But I will say that there is times where it is kind of fun. I'll just say that straight up. So anyway, the story follows Lloyd and Harry as they try to find Harry's daughter that I guess he, he had in the, in the 20 years that there's been in between films and he had a daughter he didn't know he has to find her because his kidney is failing and he needs a blood relative to give him a kidney because his is failing and he could die or whatever anyway so it's a road trip film and of course there's the evil person that wants the inheritance and stuff played by uh, uh Lori holden who of course if you're a big fan of walking dead you would know as uh, andrea and you got rob riggle who plays the uh he plays two roles he plays the lover of laura holden and he, he also plays the brother of the lover i guess and uh rob riggle's pretty funny in this and laura Lori holden's okay for the most part but really the movie really focuses on harry and lloyd their silliness, their antics, their insane, ridiculous shit, their children, their, their child sensibilities. They, they're just, they're children, pretty much. They're both dumb. Even though Lloyd is definitely dumber than Harry, they're both dumb sons of bitches. <laughs> like, th th these, these morons are so dumb. I mean, they so dumb. And I, hey, I know a little bit about being dumb myself. I mean, I, I'm, I'm Captain Stupid over here. Boo! But, hey... Uh, these guys are really, really dumb, and it's actually kind of fun to follow follow them as they do some stupid stuff. Now, I will say this. I do not love this film. I do not like this film, really. I think it's okay. I think it's an okay film. It had its moments. It definitely did. I didn't think it was boring. I felt like some of the side characters were either funny and kind of likable to follow or kind of miss and just forgettable. Uh, even though I didn't think Lori Holden was bad or Lauren Holden, whatever her name is, uh, she's forgettable. Even Rob Riggle, in a sense, is forgettable. He doesn't have that many great lines. Uh, there is a good scene with him screwing around with uh, Harry and Lloyd that's you know pretty decent and kind of memorable. But for the most part, the people you will remember here is Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels, who it's been it's like it. it it's like it hasn't even been a week since the original film came out. They, it feels like they they just... I mean, it, it, it's what Jim Carrey knows best. Just being goofy and doing you know funny faces. But it doesn't even feel like it's been 20 years. I mean, they, they just get right back into it. And they are, they're professionals. They definitely are. Even, even with Jeff Daniels, who actually has a TV show now and is actually a accredited actor. Uh, even him, he just feels like... He feels right at home with all the silliness and goofiness. Uh, I... Again, I didn't love this film. There is a lot of really funny gags here and there, but there's a lot of really mean-spirited and unfunny gags too. There's just parts where people get hurt, or people get you know killed, or well, not yeah, well actually yes, uh, people get killed or uh, animals get hurt or something like that. And some of them are funny, but a lot of them aren't funny at all. Some of them are like cringeworthy, like oh my god. And even some of the stuff that Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels say, even though they're great performers and they're fun to to follow, even them saying the stuff 
doesn't make it funny. Like, written down, it's definitely not funny. But even those two professional comedians cannot make this stuff funny. Uh, some of the dialogue is really bad. Like, just not funny at all. Um, and, of course, the story is dumb, but you figured that. Um, I will say this, though. There is a girl in here that it plays uh, the daughter of Harry that I thought was... Well, first of all, she hot. But also, she's actually pretty damn funny. She's actually really, really... She plays stupid, of course, but she plays stupid in a different way. Uh, and not like... Alright, she does play ditzy, but she doesn't play it exactly like Jim Carrey or Jeff Daniels, where she's, I don't know, farting and doing all this stupid, goofy shit. She does it in her own way, and I thought she was actually pretty good. Um, and like I said, Rob Riggle was okay, you know, for the most part. All the side characters were either hit or miss, but no one really bothered me that much. Just some of the gags really did. Some of the gags really did bother me. Uh, it's not a horrible film, like I said, but there is just so many misses that it doesn't become a great film. It becomes an okay one because it did entertain me. And it is a lot of fun watching Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels do their crazy stuff that they did in the original. And I'm, I'm actually kind of glad that this movie did pretty well at the box office. I do want to see a sequel. I just kind of want to see it from someone else. Someone that can actually write a funny joke. Because I think the Ferrelli brothers can't really do it anymore. Sure, there are funny moments. But I even feel like maybe those were improvised by Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels. But uh, anyway, there you go. Uh, I thought Dumb and Dumber, even though it's not very good, it's okay. It's tolerable. It definitely is. Uh, and there is some funny parts, especially if you're a big fan of the original. I'm going to give Dumb and Dumber 2, I'm going to give it a I'm gonna give it a 22 out of 40. I thought it was okay. It, it's better than average, but it's not as good as I hoped. So anyway, there you go. Thank you and goodbye.